Hi everyone. My name is Dr. Om Puja Sorma and I welcome you all in my YouTube channel and today we will start with a new course that is a signal and system the basic foundation course of the electrical engineering instruments and control engineering as well as the EC electronics and communication engineering so in this course before going to start this course we will see why what is the philosophy of the signal and system why we need the signal and system why we are going to study this subject and what we will is the study what we will study in this particular subject what we will cover in this subject in last in upcoming 40 or 45 lectures and what is the syllabus of this course we will cover in this particular video so my name is Dr. Om Prakash Verma and I am assistant professor in department of instruments and control engineering Dr. B.R. Ambedkar National Institute of Technology Jalandhar and you can follow me at this my youtube channel the, the address of the youtube channel is given here and you can also see my google scholar citation so in this particular video in particular slide you can see the meaning of the objects are moving and the detection per detection and tracking of the objects are going on so this is one kind of data and the data is again the video Video is a sequence of the imagery. So data may be the different types, textual, numerical, or with the imagery or the video. And in this particular topic, the course code of this subject, particularly at the Department of Instruments and Control Engineering in IIT Jalandhar, the subject has the code ICP 6305, and the running it is running in the department in the, in the semester fifth semester. And the name of the subject is signal processing, but the, in the, the name the various book has been written on the name of the signal and systems as well as the signal processing okay so particularly we will start with the you know syllabus of the subject first we will cover the introductory part of the signal processing part and in this introduction portion we will cover the classification of systems we will start with the signals okay we will start with the signal and we will start the various type of the signals basically there are four types of signal continuous in time and continuous in value continuous in time and discrete in value discrete in time and continuous in value and discrete in time and discrete in value so these are the four type of the signal and based on these four type of the signal different types of the signal have been classified the continuous and discrete energy and power and many more we will cover in the upcoming lectures we will also see the mathematical representation of the signals elementary signals the spectral density sampling theorem quantization quantization error micro state aliasing effect and also we will cover the different types of systems in the causal non causal type of the system linear system linear time variant signal invariant time of signal recursive signal dynamic stable continuous okay so after this unit basic building of the signals as well as the system after the covering of the building of building of the concept of the signal and system we will start with the fourier transform in continuous time of signal then discrete we will see then we'll we will see also see the first we will see the convolution then we will start the Fourier transform okay and then we will start with the Fourier series and then discrete Fourier series right then we will discuss also discuss the FFT, DFT, DIT, DIF, FFT using radix vertical structures then also we cover the jet transform different types of the properties of the jet transform the inverse jet transform, differences, difference equation, how the difference equation will solve. That means the solution of jet transform problems. We also see the application of these jet transform problems in the real-time problem. 
then after covering after building the concept of fourier series fourier transform in both means continuous as well as the discontinuous or continuous as well as the discrete then we will cover the j transform and then we will start with the concept of the digital filters in the digital filters we will start with the fir ir filter parallel and cascade form of the these filters then also we work on the designing of the filter fir in which we will cover the window technique with the covering the different types of the techniques okay in which the window techniques ir design ir design in ir design you will see the port role zero placement impulse variant match yet transform bilinear transformation method okay then the digital signal processor will come in the last of this lecture okay and finally this course will be finished the reference book of you can refer the different book such as the oppenheim the oppenheim oppenheim book you can refer and you can also refer the book signal and systems by the muhammad nawi the publisher is mcgraw hills okay publisher publisher is the mcgraw hills indian edition signal and system so i am writing the book name signals and systems by mahmud navi and the publisher is mcgraw hills mcgraw hill education the most popular book is oppenheim oppenheim okay you the soft copy of the book is also available on the google you can download directly and you can refer for the practice of the numerical portion you can refer only this book this is a very standard book now we come on the philosophy of on the what we are going to study why we are bothered about the signal and systems what are the, what the philosophy so philosophy is very clear philosophy of this subject is very clear everything around us in practical can be thought as a either the signal or the system so in practical in practical in practical problem you can say in the real time problem in practical problem we can thought each and every thing around us are either the existing in the sign in the form of the signals or in the form of systems okay this particular subject this particular subject signal and systems is you know the foundation is the foundation of all the advances you can say advanced engineering analysis or problem so it is a very basic course and all the engineering problems either in the field of the biomedical or the, in the communication or either in the civil almost all the areas cover analysis have been done with the help of this subject signal system so let's say we will start with the one example signal processing signal processing is you can assume you can think as a it is nothing but the you know embedded in electronics device in electronic devices or you can say components 
and software and software this signal processing functionalities functionalities covers or include you can say you can see in the real time problem media player recorders speech right speech coders modems modems in cellular phones image processor right in tv digital camera right gps navigator is a new techniques right where you can see the application of the signals and processing so signals are you can say either the different signals may be assumed as a information we will read we will cover the specific definition of the signals but here up to now the signal is nothing but you know you can say the information useful information and this useful information may be assumed as a data and this data today you know the data is a new l data is very very important for the today scenario for the various application like a prediction analysis and this data may be existing in the different form let's say you can also say this data may have the characteristic of it can be existing in the form of a numerical or you can say in the text or you can say the speech you can say in the audio or speech or audio you can say you can also say as a image right you can also assume as a video a video is nothing but you know the sequence of the images okay the video so these are the different types of the signals data we will cover how this data is going to process okay and what are the different areas you can also assume as and you can see here the signal processing enables the information transmission right even in you can say not only in the communication but also in the medical field okay medical equipment the today the medical equipment is covered with the signal processing unit such as you know you can see here as a pacemaker one of the best example pacemakers hearing device hearing device where the speech signal has been amplified right the formation and analysis of the medical earth and planetary images planetary images you can say the earth you can say the planetary images these are all are covers the concept of the signal processing okay so how what are the different building blocks of these signal processings so signal processing technology are built on the synergies of you can say the synergy of the signals and systems signals and system the basic building blocks of the signal processing is nothing but the signal and system theory and what the theory are what are the three models these models apply these models apply simply of you know the physical processor right physical processor some computational unit is also attached here that computational unit is in the form of some algorithm okay some algorithm some hardware and some software is architecture are attached with the this unit and finally the signal processing are worked okay so now the basic question is what is the signal and how what is the system and what are the different areas where it 
has been applied. So before going in the detail of you know the signals and systems, the definition of the signal system, first you can see the different areas where this signal system are been covered as we have as we have you know seen the examples we have covered the examples of communication you can see the communication areas where one communication let's say there's some speech okay and this speech is sent into the some transducer and uh, some transducer has amplified or some signals and sent to the modulator and this modulator is the signals modulated signal is sent to some amplifier and then amplifier transmit the signal and at the receiver end the receiver receive the signal amplified signal and again the signal is amplified because some loss has been occurred in between the transmission and the amplifier signal is again sent to the demodulator the demodulator and the demodulator signal is sent to again some transducer that can, that will convert the electrical signal to the again a speech and then you can listen the processed speech signal or you can say here the listening purpose you can complete the listening purpose right so this is the simple example of the speech in the communication you can also see the example of aeronautics you can say you can see here the aeronautics example here you can see these are the example of you can see the mode yes you see the the you know the when the flight are flying some airplane is flying so it is the 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 time the the dependent variable are you know altitude and longitude and this altitude and longitude signals are continuously sent to some atc air traffic controller and this processing has been done okay so these are the areas where you can apply the signal system okay the circuit design acoustic seismology the earth biomedical engineering we have seen the example energy generation distribution system in chemical process control industries process industries speech processing multimedia processing image processing and video processing object detection okay and tracking are the very emerging area where this type of work has been carried the advanced version is covered inside the object detection and tracking will covered inside the topic the different you know subject okay and the subject is known as machine vision and computer vision but again the concept is used the basic building concept is used as a signal system so in upcoming chapters we will start we will cover with the what is the signals what is the systems what are different types of the systems what are different types of the signals what is the concept of different convolution okay fourier transform fourier series what are the different operation applied on signals and the main aim of this subject is also we will cover we will cover also some you know the gate problems usually from the signal and system subject 8 to 10 marks of the question have been asked in the gate exam okay and it will be covered well covered in this particular subject so hope you will continue the subject and my request to all the listeners all the viewers are please tune please don't skip the lectures don't jump from one lecture 1 to lecture 5 or lecture 6 try to cover each and every lectures so that you your building your concepts has to build and that build a concept may be you know used further in the particular in the in the uh, in the next or in the in upcoming lectures you can also you can only understand the lectures when you cover all the 
previous all the previous lectures you are you are you are going to study from the initial so thank you very much we will cover we will start the lectures from the next video so thank you very much